full of brie, heart full of spite Foodie just can't see the light Overeating, losing the fight Greed will hold her tight day and night Welcome back So on the last day of the month, on May 31st Foodie came back with a vengeance Firstly posting this community post uh, Basically having a go at another reactor channel Called the YouTube Underground Who's known as Yabba um, I'm not going to read this out you, you can pause if you want to read this But not very nice Ugh. And then she went on to do an hour and a half live Which we're going to get into now Now the first thing I couldn't help noticing here Is that she's fully made up After her recent health problem She must be feeling much better eh? Um bright red lipstick but it's wonky uh she's not done a good job on the lipstick i'm afraid sorry chantal she says she hasn't had red meat since she's been sick she's eating just chicken and vegetarian food mostly she tells us she's doing much better i'm doing a lot better actually so i'm very happy to be uh kind of like feel like my normal self but a bit of oh, my eyebrows are bad I know we're not supposed to pop them as Muslims, but she's... Wow. She's really been uh, taking care of her uh, makeup and whatnot routine today, hasn't she? She says the medication seems to be working. It was 16 when she woke up and 15.5 when she tested it not long before this stream. So my question is, what about the meter that you believed was inaccurate? Hmm? We're trusting that now suddenly. She says she realises now that blood sugars can fluctuate, that she didn't before. Now, she's been diabetic for quite some time. She's not known this. I mean, I find this very hard to believe that she's only just now realising that. She says she's lost weight, that the shirt she's wearing is now baggy, that this was the one she showed us a few weeks ago with the clothes that she got in Canada, that it didn't fit her. However, if you note, it's kind of pulled up at the back there. We're not seeing what it's like down below. And it, if I remember rightly, it was around the tummy, particularly that it was too tight at the time. Hmm... She says there's heat warnings in place, so she hasn't been going outside, but that uh, they might go outside for a walk tonight. Well, that's okay then. She again goes off at Reaction Channel, saying that uh, only God can bring her down. Here's just a few comments on what she had to say about that creator. It's, you're the one with the inbreeding in your family tree somewhere down the line. Nice. Hmm. So they got a terms of service strike. Like I strike them all the time here and there, like whenever. Strikes them all the time? Uh, no, you report them all the time. Doesn't necessarily end up in a strike, does it? If it's considered fair use. I have a free moment. I strike them for bullying. Whenever you have a free moment, it, it girl, it seems like nearly all your day is free moments. You hardly have much to do in that tiny apartment, do you? You don't go out during the day. Sometimes you may go out for a little walk at night, but it seems mostly you're watching your bigger reactor channels <laughs> and reacting to them yourself by your community posts, which is now deleted, by the way. She swiftly deleted that community post that I showed you at the beginning because it was going all around Twitter, X, um being reported you know well people were being encouraged to report it and of course she scours x we know that and uh, she swiftly took it down she's still sitting on a strike from the end of march if you recall when she got banned for seven days so that's in place for 90 days that's up at the end of june if she was to get a second strike now say for that community post it would be so, so easy for her to get a third one in the coming weeks and then her channel's gone. So. Harassment, because that's what they do and they deserve it. I don't care if you, you shouldn't strike people and they make you money. <sighs> this is a 40-year-old woman doing this. No, they use all my content. They take money from me and they're 
freaking assholes and I'm going to strike them. Cry about it all you want. I don't care. Cry about it all you want. Hmm. Fat, they have fat, fatty podcast. What is it with all these like reactors who don't even have the balls to show their face and are all, also 300 pounds themselves? Making fun of other overweight women. I'll never get that. Anyway. So she's talking about Yabba here, YouTube Underground. She claims that she's 300 pounds. Uh, this other creator, which I don't believe she is. Um, in terms of not showing your face, well, I can't speak for them, but for me, I chose to be a VTuber on this channel. And I do get people asking why. Well, I want it to be about the content, not about what I look like. And no, I'm not 300 pounds, <laughs> nowhere near so. Um, that's not why. It's got to be about the content, the words, you know. Uh, it's, I don't want anything to distract from that by what I look like. I mean, for goodness sake, then I'd start being trolled. Uh, even if I looked like a top supermodel, you know, trolls would find something to go with. So I want it to be about the content only for me. So she says that that creator got a terms of service violation, which they did. And that since then they've gone on in Chantal's words, to false copyright strike anybody who's used their footage. Uh, that's not quite true. I've seen online some of their reports have resulted in strikes. Some of them haven't, but some of them have. So you're a little bit wrong there, Chantal, I'm afraid. She says this other creator is taking uh, copyright matters to court and basically in Chantal's view that they're going to end up wasting their money, etc. So quite a rant about this she did she then goes on to say that she herself doesn't strike for copyright i think she means report for copyright for example yeah i don't i don't strike for copyright because it's not copy it's not a copyright issue um you know in my opinion having an, in my personal opinion having an entire channel using one person's content the full thing every day for, for no educational no no purpose other than to bully that person is not fair use but try to argue that in a court of law right like no thanks so but to sit there and be like, I'm going to strike you, that's so embarrassing. Like, Are this coming from the woman who has threatened one big reactor of hers in particular to uh, sue her. She's threatened that multiple times and here she is now saying that she's not interested. I mean, as you'll know, um, on my channel, I'm not here to fat shame her or anything. It's uh, her behaviour that I comment on and uh, deception and things like that i really couldn't care that she could be thin as a stick and i'd still react to her if her behavior was the same you know and you can verify that from my previous uploads i also don't use her full things you know i use little clips and stills there are other channels the channels she's talking about are ones that play her content from beginning to end and you know, don't pause much to talk, provide any commentary, reaction, you know. And then the next bit is where she's really lovely to her chat. Like these people are clowns. I don't know. But anyway, Miffy, I can be concerned about my health and have an opinion. Do I like what? What? what are you dumb? Shouldn't they be concerned with their own life? With are you dumb? It's not a nice way to talk to your subs is it their own raising their kids like their own weight loss journey they're the two of them together are over 500 pounds i don't believe they are like are you kidding me get out of here <laughs> i love how just because i have to be focusing on my health i have to like do that 24 7. like do you want me to start doing push-ups right now or what it's it, it's in carolina it's insane like it boggles my mind hi gracie i don't think people want you to start doing push-ups but at the moment given your recent health scare yeah i would say it wouldn't be a bad thing for your health to be on your mind 24 7 or much of it anyway wouldn't you agree like her exactly she sits there and is like you're gonna lose a foot chantelle by the way i know you can't speak proper english it's chantal okay yeah proper english but you keep telling us it's a french name chantal I've probably not been pronouncing it fully correctly either, but I do my best. Get it right. I've been wanting to say that for a long time. You sound like deliverance. Just shut up. Lovely. Yeah, Miffy it affects people. Yeah. 
Thank you, Gracie. I'm like the center of this shit gore world community that you've created, and I don't have a right to say anything? I don't think so, buddy. No, you do have a right to respond, in my opinion. I think it's just the way that you're responding is a bit OTT, and the words you're using and the language you're using. But that's just me. <laughs> I don't care if people unsub Vera. My subs are fine. I have my plaque. Good. I'm done. I don't care. I have my plaque. Good. I'm done. Really? I don't how many people unsub now. I don't. <laughs> you can't unsub to somebody and be like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna sub to you anymore unless you do this. I don't care. Goodbye. You don't know me well. You don't know me well. And by the way, I'm on a good track right now. My sugars are coming down. I'm back on my meds. I'm down 15 kgs. Thank you very much. This shirt is fitting me now. I don't know what else you want, Vera, but I don't owe you anything. Nice. And remember, she has a lot of paying members. <sighs> this attitude stinks. So the 15 kg weight loss she says she's had equates to around 33 pounds, which is equal to just under two and a half stone for those of us that use pounds and stone. There's no way she lost that weight recently when she was sick over a period of a few days uh -uh. and you you can't even see it in her you know the face is one of the first places where weight loss shows and uh, no nah, nah, no way she says she's eating salads every day ordering them in she says she hasn't been binging or had any junk food and that salad can vouch for that she talks about taking the Unicity drink again and goes on about how the order of the different food types can help regulate your blood sugar and says that salad is very strict with her at the minute. Mm -hmm. What happens when salad, salad's asleep? I've been checking twice a day. If it's gone down, like even if it's not accurate, I still have to figure the machine out. At least it was 24 yesterday. Was it yesterday? That I went to the doctor 24. Now Still has to figure the machine out. You mean you haven't read the instructions yet? Not look to see if it needs calibrating? <laughs> Unbelievable. And then she says, was it yesterday I went to the doctor? I mean, what, you wouldn't forget that, would you? If you'd been to the doctor like this week, you'd know what day, especially when it was about something so serious. Surely. It's down to like 15.5, so it's coming down like, you know, alhamdulillah, so... The medication makes more of a difference than I even realized. I honestly don't know what I was thinking when I wasn't taking it. I was just being so, like, self-negligent and stupid. Like, I don't... I, that, there's no other word for it. Yeah, self-negligent's a good way to put it. But people have been telling you that for so long. And you wouldn't listen. You knew better. Chat keep making comments about her having to go somewhere in July and before July the 10th. And she keeps saying, I don't know what you mean. I think they are referring to that being when her three months is up on her supposed tourist visa. Every three months she leaves Kuwait and then comes back. But she's playing dumb, to use her own word, that she called her chat. She responds to someone in chat saying, yeah, that's a good idea to go for a treat like once a month to a really nice restaurant. She says there's so many there that are really nice and ritzy. She says a thought of gravy grosses her out right now. And if you remember when she was in Canada, she got so excited about the place she went to get food that had gravy on tap. She could drink as much gravy as she wanted. We know she likes her gravy. Chat uh, talk a few times throughout this about her makeup and she says that her lipstick is a really old one and also about her eyeliner that it's a, a really old one and that she says something about she should get new makeup. I mean, ooh, all ladies know uh, that wear makeup, it can collect bacteria. You, you know, you refresh it, you don't use really old makeup. You know, you're cruising for infections that way. And the last thing that Chantal, if I pronounce that right, reason, needs right now is more infections. Chat asks her, can she take down the Ramadan decorations? And she says to Salah in chat, um, I don't know why we don't. 
what do you think babe but other than that she ignored it why don't they take them down is it because they have so few other decorations they want to keep them up uh, who knows she says they have to go grocery shopping that she doesn't want to order online that she wants to pick out things surely you can pick out things online you don't want to go out in the heat i mean uh, let's see chat asked her why on the medical report that she showed us it referred to giddiness and she says it was an arabic doctor she doesn't think they understood much english uh no chantal giddiness is an actual medical term she talks about a good film that she's watched her opinion and that uh, tiktok is stupid you don't get paid on it she says if she ever rages it's only against people who come for her first and that otherwise she's a very nice person there continues lots of back and forth with chat about the reaction channels chat asks when there's going to be more content on the couple's channel she says she knows they're behind but she doesn't have the energy right now and you know with being sick and then says that she's hungry and by the way on this still shot what is going on with her eyes she says that when she eats rice now it's very little rice and that it's been eye-opening that she never realized that when you order rice uh you know you order out they give you so so much it's like it could feed five people i'm not being funny but it never stopped you eating it before everybody was telling you there were huge amounts but we've seen you clear the plates of the rice before Again, I find it hard to believe that this is a new realisation. Chat tells her she has to stop eating the bread and rice, but she says it's basmati rice, which is the lowest in glycemic index. So she's still trying to justify eating the things that she's been told she shouldn't do. Told by medical professionals, I mean. She talks with ba uh, chat about different bands and songs and different kinds of foods. She's hungry. She says she has to restock on groceries. She's got nothing in uh, but a block of soft cheese that she doesn't want. She says she ordered a six inch sub the other day on wheat bread. And she had chips with it because she said she finds it hard to eat them without chips but that she couldn't finish the chips why the hell are you ordering chips in the first place you're supposed to be on this health arc you know after your recent high blood sugar reading this is just crazy whether you finish them or not you shouldn't have ordered them you shouldn't have had any she goes on to talk about different types of food and keeping inserting the fact that she's hungry and that's about it for this live stream bit of a rage stream here i mean my take on it i think uh she was bored uh, or something set her off you know to do that now deleted community post and this live stream with the rages spread throughout i mean she got quite heated at times in this didn't she it's uh, probably would be good if she'd put that amount of energy into looking into what good food she could eat with her diabetic status. But hey, that's just my opinion. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching and until next time, take care. In her apartment of love.